So God's spirit bonds it and gives it life. Just as much as you part of your daddy that might not been around, God don't need him to be around. You can learn how to be a man because there's a whole bunch of men out there. God gonna make sure that your mother gonna be in his life because we come from her. She will teach you the how to be a gentleman. What's greater than a man is a gentleman. Dad raises a man outside, outside the house. And if daddy ain't around, around, you can learn how to be a man outside the house. Mom say, oh, he can come to the house, but he can't come in my home. Now, if he's a gentleman and know how to behave, she'll let him in. The dynamics of a house and home is misunderstood. The dynamics of what a mother raises and a father raises in our children is misunderstood and broken. But if we are intelligent creatures and we can understand that, shouldn't we start doing that now and planning for the future? We can't hold what our mother and father did to us and what we went through because of them. Our trials were designed by Jesus, granted to us by God when he gave us our spirit. If you cannot believe in the seed of your father and your mother's egg, believe in the spirit of God to get you through. God would never allow his son Jesus to give us a trial that we cannot achieve because we have his spirit. If you believe that God can achieve anything, you can too. I understand my meaning and my calling. I'm, I'm just nothing but a mere messenger of God. Don't, don't be mad at the messenger if the message moves you. Whatever the message is, that is God speaking to the spirit within you. He's speaking to himself. He don't care about the seed of your daddy. He don't even care about your mama's egg. He respects it because it, that is your life on earth, the human being. But that celestial being within you, that celestial being that's within you, that there, that there is him. Why would God lie to himself when he whispers to you? A whisper from God comes in the form of a thought. Thinking about your thoughts is having a conversation with God. What comes of that conversation is called wisdom. You do not find wisdom in a dead tree, a book. You find wisdom within the spirit within you. Your job is to pick the best vocabulary package out that will speak the words of God. I can speak to you like I'm from the hood. I can speak to you like I'm from the trailer park. Mm, hey, maybe she got a sister. We can do a threesome, <laughs> whatever. Or I can speak to you like a man or I can speak to you like a gentleman. The question is, how are you gonna listen? Are you gonna listen like me to a man as a man or a gentleman? Or are you gonna listen to me as a woman or a lady? There's a difference. The vocabulary and the behaviors of a man and a gentleman are different. The vocabulary and behaviors of a woman and a lady are different. And it has to choose to do that. And if you don't know the difference, you're going to have a very difficult time learning that. And if you assume that they all the same, I don't mean be harsh. The man in me will call you an idiot. But then again, I'd rather you be an idiot and I'd be the genius. So I really don't want you to know, man in me. But the gentleman in me obeys Jesus, that obeys God. Because God gave him domain over the spirit within me. And my spirit says, as a gentleman in me, if I want to be a gift from God, I have to tell you. Stop trying to be a man and admit to within yourself. The things you know you need to fix that you not, uh, know ain't God worthy. I can't tell you. She can't tell you. Only you can tell you. She may see 10 things in me fixed and before you become that gentleman for her. But within you, you may think it's a 90. You need to start working on it because God knows what you know. He's within you. And if you can't fix that and address that, see, a man only knows one side of himself. He's 90%. A man will never be complete till he learn to master the 10% that every woman has of his 90. You can make it 100. And a 100% man, that's the next stage. That's a gentleman. If you're no longer a boy, you become a man. And when you get tired of being a man, you become a gentleman. So truly understand that.
But if you can get stuck in your stage of man or woman, it is insanity. Just sit back and listen on these panels. I sit back and just, you know, I pass a message. My message is disturbing. Some people on the blog get mad at, oh, you're a troll. I'm not a troll. You can call God's message a troll. 